you know, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm honestly just befuddled. Yeah, I just wonder, like, how do you even, uh, how do you even believe we live in a rape, a rape culture? How could you possibly believe we live in a rape culture? I mean, after I read this story right here, I mean, I'm, I mean, I wish, I wish this was actually some kind of alcoholic beverage, not really, but something stronger than that, because this right here, man, it's just not a good look, man. It's just not a good look for anybody. So check this out, man. A student who searched how to make a friend, then touched girl on arm, faces jail. Jamie Griffiths. 19, has been convicted of two charges of sexual assault at Manchester Magistrates Court. This was uploaded yesterday by the time I'm recording this video. This article was written yesterday by the time I'm recording this video. Dunham University student Griffiths denied the charges. Of course he did. And because, look, you guys will see, man. Like, you guys will see. Like, this... Nobody looks good here, Okay. Look at this, especially the the so-called victim. You guys will see. Watch. You guys think I'm over-exaggerating because you haven't heard the story yet, but when you do... Uh -huh. A university graduate who searched how to make a friend online and touched a 17-year-old girl faces jail after being convicted of sexual assault. Oh, that sounds awful. No, I know. Yeah, I know. That sounds real awful. Just keep, just keep listening. Just keep listening. Jamie Griffiths, 19, touched a would-be Oxford student on the arm and waist as he tried to talk to her in the street. Yeah, that's it. I know you guys are probably thinking that he must have reached down her pants and, you know, grabbed her by the pussy. He, you know, he must have grabbed her butt cheeks, you know what I mean? And just played and just jiggled her ass as she was just on her way back home <laughs> from school. You probably thought that he, I don't know, reached up her skirt and squeezed and just pulled and tugged on her, on her nipples, apparently. But no, he just touched her arm and he grabbed her waist. Now, I'm not saying the, the guy should have done that, but I mean, sexual assault? For real, though? Let's continue. He came into contact with the victim ugh, with the victim during two attempts to engage her in conversations as she walked to and from school. The victim, who was due to sit her mock exams, burst into tears during the second encounter and went to the police with her mother, saying Griffiths would have touched her breast had she not moved away from him. So here's my question. So he tried to grab her, apparently, and somehow, I, I which, which honestly, anatomically, I guess when you tried to grab her arm, he must have been reaching for her shoulder, which is a totally natural thing to do if you're trying to, you know, touch someone's shoulder or, like, tap their shoulder to get their attention if you're not really good at, like, verbally speaking, um, of course, which evidently this young man was, or at least that's the story that he tells. Um, it seems... It's particularly strange to me that somehow grabbing her arm kind of translates to that he would have grabbed her breast. And, and what's even furthermore is still even strange is the fact that after he failed to grab her boob, like, why didn't he, like, try it again? You know what I mean? Which I know sounds kind of weird, but it's like, if his intentions were to grab her titties, like, why would he fail... And then just walk away instead of like trying to grab the titties again and then leaving. Like, why would he leave empty tittied or empty handed with the? T I couldn't even make a good one line out of that. But seriously, like, but like, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Can, I'll just continue. The victim, who was due to sit her mock exams, burst into tears during the second encounter and went. To <laughs> she later described um, how her schoolwork had suffered. She was unable to sit in her mock exams and said she wanted and said the unwanted touching had hindered her application process to Oxford University. Like, bro, like, uh, like he grabbed her waist, bro. She's acting like, 
Like, bro, she's acting like she got hit with the fucking shield of the just. <laughs> Like, bro, she's acting like she got hit with the fucking father-son Kamehameha wave. I mean, I'll do you up one, man. Like, she's acting like she got hit with the spirit bomb, man. Like... <laughs> she was sitting here crying because he tried to touch her, her arm. Even if he did try to touch her boob, which I highly doubt, but even if he was, like, she's, she's just crying, she's just so defeated. Like, no, bro, you know what, you know what, okay, okay, I'm being a jerk. I'm being a jerk. To be more accurate, she's really acting like, she's really acting like fucking Dio. She's acting like she got the fucking Dio treatment. Hmm. I mean, I just, I, I'm at a loss for words at the remarkable levels of weakness here. I, I just, there's, there's no other way to put it. Like, she crumbled because he tried, even if he did try to grab her boob, like her whole world just, uh, I, I can't do any, uh, I can't do any memes. <laughs> My whole life is just over. I can't even, I can't. I can't eat, and he tried to touch me, and he failed to touch me, and I just, ugh. Like, he didn't, he wasn't even successful. He wasn't even, like, even if that was his intentions, he, he wasn't even successful. Jeez Louise. Dude, man, if, imagine if he did grab her boob. She'd probably be in a fucking coma how weak she is. Goodness gracious. Uh, she later described how her schoolwork had suffered, uh, whatever, the Manchester Magistrates Court uh, Durham University students Griffiths, who lived with his parents in a 65,000 euro house in Cheshire, was convicted of two charges of sexual assault. He denied the charges, claiming that he was a shy, anxious, and awkward teenager who had clumsily approached a girl in an attempt to make a friend, but the words didn't come out. No, this nigga fucking, this nigga looks like a shy, clumsy teenager. Like, he, he looks exactly as described, bruh. Bruh, he looks like he needs to be on, like, the cover of a poster... For the fucking next <laughs> I Love You Beth Cooper movie, bruh. You know what I mean? <laughs> I Love You Elizabeth Jenkins, whatever the fuck. <laughs> like, he looks, this nigga looks like a fucking dweeb. He looks like the type of person who would, like, Google how to find a friend. And sure, it sounds like I'm getting on him, but, like, this story checks out. Like, you don't need, bruh, you don't need to be a next generation level detective. <laughs> To figure out that this kid, you know what I mean? He's not playing with your standard 52 card deck. Oh my gosh. Like, okay. Uh, okay, let, let's continue. He will be sentenced later this month and also be forced, I'm sorry, and also face being ordered to sign the sex offender registry. Could you imagine that fucking story? Oh, wow, you're a sex offender? Why? What'd you do? You know, I, I touched a girl on her shoulder. Bruh, I, I grabbed a girl by the waist. Lord have mercy. I mean, listen, here, listen. I'm not, I'm not saying that the guy should have grabbed her on the waist on the second time. I'm not saying that. 
that's a little strange. And, you know, like people don't normally do that. But you could literally end that whole thing with just a straight stiff arm. Like the girl could just straight like, bruh, get get the fuck off me and like walk away. You know what I mean? Just like a just a straight, eh, like dude, like chill, like chill, bruh. And that would have ended the whole thing. We got they had to go through fucking court to convict this guy when all this girl had to do was just straight fucking stiff arm him and just keep going about her merry way. And I understand she might be a seventeen year old girl, but I mean, come on, dude, like seventeen doesn't mean completely fucking inept. Holy shoot, man. Oh my gosh, this sentence carries a maximum, I'm sorry, the, the offense carries a maximum sentence of 10 years in jail if dealt with at a crown court. Could you fucking imagine that shit? You lose a whole decade of your whole life because you grabbed a girl on the waist? Like, I'm. listen, 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 I'm not saying that he should have done it, I'm really not, but... Bruh, 10 years, bruh? Like, that's a decade, bruh. That's a whole decade. His a whole decade of his life should be gone for that. Like getting caught with marijuana in, in in the United States only gets you like what up to five years sometimes. I mean, depending on how much you have, you know. Even if you think weed should or shouldn't be illegal, but I mean, grabbing a girl on the waist is like like that sexual assault. Like, come on, man. Like, I understand you may not want a dweeb to grab you on on. Uh, you touch your shoulder or touch your arm or whatever, but but how was that sex? There's nothing sexual about getting your arm touched, and, and even and here's the thing that gets me: like it's two counts of sexual assault, but if he touched her arm, then that's not sexual unless the whole of the body of the woman is sexual. And if that's the case, then all of these girls can fucking miss me with this bullshit that shoulders aren't sexy when they want to complain about their whole dress code thing. You guys, it, it's over. It's over. It's done. Game set match. Apparently, if this shit is supposed to walk. Goodness gracious, man. Check this garbage out. The incident occurred between October and November last year. The girl, now 18, said that she had been walking home from an English lesson when she encountered Griffiths. She told the hearing, I was just set on I was just set on getting home and revising mom for my mock exams. But as I was coming over the bridge, I saw him facing a hedge and I thought it was really weird. He wasn't doing anything, he was just facing the hedge, staring at it. As I walked towards him, I was watching him, and he suddenly swung around so he was facing me. I remember it happening so fast, and he moved, and I just said, stop, and he touched me on my arm. <gasps> oh, my gosh. The horror. The betrayal. The evil. <laughs> Jesus. I sort of jolted out of the way and went quickly onto the road to avoid him, and he very quickly walked away. I mean, sexual assault, guys. Could you, could you imagine? Could you imagine? Like, this is tantamount to rape, guys. This is the same set. Rapists get fucking 10 years in jail, dude. How does any rapist walk is my question. How could anyone commit rape and walk when, when literally you can get convicted for touching a girl on the arm? Bruh, how do we live? Like, how does this guy get put in jail? But we still have rapists going on right now because girls are too scared to, 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 to confess. Or, or too scared to bring up the charges. What even is this, dude? Like, what is this Mickey Mouse world we live in where rapists can rape women and the girls are, are afraid to go to tell people, right? But this guy touches a girl on the arm and it just destroys her whole life. Dude, what, what, what kind of Mickey Mouse campaign are we running, dude? Where evil gets to prosper, but some fucking dweeb who's trying to, like, spit some game gets jailed? Bruh, that's fucked up, man. I don't care what anyone says. Like, how how does this happen? I don't understand. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Literally, you hear all of these dumbass stories of girls me tooing people, never going to the police or anything like that. Whether it's real or fictional, whether it's real or fake, you got you got all this stuff. Bruh gets convicted for like 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 at this point, there's no excuse to not go to the police if you get raped. If if he gets convicted for touching the girl, come on, bruh. Bruh, it's over, bruh. Rape culture is done. It's over. <laughs> Come on. There's no defense for any rape. If this walks, if, if that, and it did walk, he, he's going to jail. Come on, bruh. It's so stupid, man. I don't even understand this Mickey Mouse world we live in, man. I think it would have been on my breast had I not moved. But you did move. So technically nothing happened. Except you touched your arm. When it first happened, I didn't think much of it. 
and and it didn't click in my head. I just thought that it was really weird. Why did he touch me? Probably to get your attention. That's all it really was. I mean, if the guy was really trying to hurt you, like, why would he walk away after touching you on the shoulder, dude? Like, if the guy, I mean, come on. If he, if he had every opportunity in this moment, and the next moment, why, are, why is that the most he did? That doesn't make any sense. If, if this guy is over here trying to sexually assault you, like, this guy is going to jail not because he shoved his hand down the girl's pants and, like, fingered her butthole. If that happened, okay, okay, I get you, I got you. You know what I mean? You know, he put his hand over her mouth, slung her into the, into the bushes and, like, ripped her clothes off. Okay, okay, I got you. Brett touched your, touched your arm, Brett. I forgot about it for a while because I had my exams and I just thought it was weird behavior. And it, it is weird behavior. It is strange. Well, not what's strange is tapping her on the shoulder and then leaving. Usually if you tap someone on the shoulder, you, you got to follow it up by, by saying something. You know, or tap someone on the arm, you got to say something. It is weird to just leave. She says she encountered Griffiths again on the... On November 7th at lunchtime when she was on her way to school to sit a timed English essay having been revisiting at home. She added, I was quite far off the road when I noticed him. He is someone I have seen before. I thought I recognized them, but I didn't excuse me, think that it was the person from the first incident at the time. It was only when he moved to touch me and looked me in the eyes that I realized it was the same person. Ooh, excuse me. The pavement was quite wide, but he suddenly moved to walk in front of me, looked me straight in the eye, and touched me on my side, and walked off. That's it? Bruh, that's it? Bruh, that's it? Man, you got me messed up. Okay, alright, well, that's it. It was quite a while, three to five seconds. He smirked at me. He One Mississippi. Two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. That's how long, quite a while. I just counted out five seconds right here. One Mississippi, bruh, get off me. Bruh, chill. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, just, dude, get off me. What are you doing? Chill. That's it. That's it. No, instead, let me just go home and cry like a little baby back bitch. And go tell my mommy, which is what she, let me just go tell my mommy, some guy touched me on my side for three seconds. We gotta go put him in jail. We can't let, we can't let that, we can't let that stand, guys. We need to teach these guys a lesson. You can't just touch girls on their arms and think you can get away with it. What the fuck is wrong with you? It was quite a while. He smirked at me. And he didn't stop. He just touched me and walked up. And I broke down crying in the street. I, I feel it. It was quite traumatic. He touched me. Oh my goodness, Brad, dude. This is fucking stupid. I had reported the previous um, incident to the police days beforehand, as it had been going around the other incidents that had occurred, and I thought I could give more evidence, and then it happened again. It came up in the local Facebook group chat. I broke down in tears right away and rang my mom and attempted to follow him initially and get a picture, but it wasn't quick enough. Wow, okay, so now you're stalking him because he touched you on your shoulder and you're on your on your side. Okay. I rang my mom and she came and picked me up and we went straight to the house and then went straight to the police station and reported the incident. I was trying to revise for these exams and I couldn't focus at all. And every time I started working, I would cry because I would think about it. No difference between men and women. Women are just as strong as men. Women can do anything men can do, but better. No difference. No difference. Okay. Women are strong and independent creatures. They don't need men. I feel very unsafe even in my own home. Oh my gosh, people are just going to touch my shoulder. People are going to ask me. They're going to tell me, what? People, I feel so unsafe with people touching my sides. What the fuck is this shit, dude? The fact that this is taken seriously. I couldn't even.
even walk to school for a couple of weeks. God forbid the side toucher comes and gets me. I'd rather deal with Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger has nothing on the side toucher. I wouldn't even leave my house. Even even to go into town. Fucking xenomorphs. Fuck those guys, man. This is the real terror. The side toucher. I didn't sit in my mock exams. So I didn't get that practice. I struggled for a couple of months afterwards. God forbid Jason Voorhees can't hold a candle to this fucking carrot top. Side toucher who touched my arm. I'm so scared. The fucking predator is nothing compared to him, dude. I had to fucking hire Batman to be my bodyguard. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go cat in Britain. I had to import Captain America over here, man. I need to borrow his fucking shield. So people won't touch me on my side. What is this fucking bullshit? I struggled for a couple of months afterwards. I was applying for Oxford at the time and I found going to Oxford a stressful thing. Even today, walking down the street, it just makes everything a little bit scarier. If there's a guy walking towards me by himself, I start to panic. And it's just part of everyday life. You are just not meant for this world. You are weak. Everything about you is weak. Your mind is weak. Your soul is weak. And you do not deserve to thrive. Well, she's a victim, Zaz. How could you possibly say that? She's a victim of getting fucking touched on her side. I had worse shit happen to me when I was a kid. She was 17. Fuck out of here, man. Yeah, I'm fucking attacked. Got my ass kicked when I was a kid. Man, I wish people just touched me on my fucking arm. I wish people just touched me on my side. I'm supposed to fucking feel empathetic. Because some fucking dweeb touched her. Fucking off me, Knave. Knave, what is wrong with you? What's art wrong with you? To think you could touch my divine feminine form. Off to chair with you. Oof. Oof. That's what the fuck I read when I hear this shit. His only cardinal said, I bet you if the guy was fucking Chad. I bet you if the guy was handsome, there'd be no fucking problem here. I, I guarantee. Guarantee fucking T. It was more shocking that someone thought they had the right to touch me as I walked down the street. You dumb... Whatever. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. I just can't. So, this is what Griffiths has to say. He said, um... I had seen her in school, and I turned around and went to touch her arm to start a conversation, and she just walked off. Yeah, that sounds about right. My intention was to make a friend. All my friends had left, and I was lonely, and I just wanted to speak to someone. She was walking towards me, and I recognized her, and I knew she was a student at the school. I didn't say anything, but I really wanted to say something. The words just didn't come out. I, I, I believe it. I remember the same, something similar happened to me before, too, way back when. It is the most embarrassing moment of my entire life. I'll tell that story some other time. I touched her, but I believed that it was the arm I was touching. I smiled at her, and I was just trying to be friendly. I tried to get her attention, and she ignored me. Touching someone's arm to get their attention, I would have thought was normal. I was looking for a friend. I mean, that is pretty normal behavior. What is it normal is not following it up. But, I mean, if he is as awkward uh, as he says he is, I mean, that, that does follow suit. When I looked up trying to meet new people and make new friends, one of the things I read was to start off with a joke. I've always been a very anxious person. My friends all seem to really know what to do, and I never really asked them how they did it. I have always been more stay-at-home with my parents, and loneliness is all-consuming. Well, you won't be alone anymore, unfortunately. You go to your jail cell. Such, such bullshit. I really needed someone to talk to at the time, and my intention was to make a friend, but I clearly didn't go about it the right way, and I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. And that literally should be the beginning and ending of this. He shouldn't have to fucking go to jail for this. I tried to speak with her, but I just couldn't. My anxiety kicks in, and it makes it impossible to say anything. She just happened to be walking home from school those times, and I have not targeted her. I would hate to make someone feel uncomfortable or scared, and this is just his defense. Um... His lawyer, Claire Aldridge, told um, JP's, she did say, I think it would have been on my breast had I not moved. But what she thinks might have happened isn't isn't what the... But what she thinks might have happened isn't what the issue. Isn't... Is that... That's not correct. Isn't the issue. <laughs> or isn't what the issue is. Well, you have to correct her saying that. 
Are you dealing with somebody lying in wait in broad daylight, or are you dealing with an anxious and awkward young man, someone who struggles to make friends by his own admission? I mean, this is his defense. Like, I mean, he's a particularly shy, anxious young man who spends most of his time studying with his parents. Okay. Excuse me. But prosecutor Victoria Norman said the complaint the complainant was adamant about what she had suffered and was very frank and honest with this court. He intended to touch her breast area and was waiting for her. What rational person looks up how to make a friend? Oh, dang. She's over here getting on his intelligence, bruh. But here's my question. Though. Let me do you up one. If this guy really was trying to touch her breast area, why did he fold when she just pulled away? Like if this guy was so con if this guy was so committed to grabbing her boob, which he didn't even fucking grab, he was convicted of sexual assault when he didn't assault her or or, or sexually assault her rather. Why would he fold at at that one moment? Like what rational person? Like come on, like if he's gonna commit, he's gonna commit. Like wouldn't that make more sense than just, uh, uh, just uh, like what the fuck? Even the defendant is advancing that he was just seeking to make a friend. He waits in two areas that are isolated on her root home. He touches her. An attempt to make a friendship with anyone surely starts with a hello or wave. I would say, yeah, for the most part. But, I mean, if you're really bad at verbalizing, which he, apparently it seems he was, then, you know, I don't know. I feel like some people are, are weird. Some people are awkward. You have to pretend that we don't live in a world where some people are don't have a lot of social anxiety. And... I don't know, this lawyer had to be on some other fucking bullshit. Both his, the, the defending lawyer and the prosecutor. Because it's like, one, I mean, like, I don't know how you don't, like, open and, I don't know how you just don't fucking throw this shit out the damn window. Honestly, I really don't. This seems like some shit that could be solved with, bruh, like, don't touch me. And move on. But instead, he's going to jail because he touched the girl on the arm. And I understand that she was 17, but I think this kind of goes back to a video I would have made before. I'm pretty sure, like, like he didn't know that the girl was 17. And if he's 19, he was probably, like, 18. So it was probably, like, a year difference between them. Um, which, sure, I mean, it, it isn't good, but, like, he wouldn't have known that the girl was only, like, 17 at the time. Just looking at any young female in this day and age, you know? Yeah, these are the type of stories that just break your heart right in two, man. Um... It's just a sign of the times that we're in, dude. It's just... It's miserable out there, man. I'm not saying this guy is a hero, but he's not a villain. Like, not even by a stretch of the imagination. He's just some fucking dweeb. Like, we're in this day and age where fucking dweebs are going to jail because they ta they touched the girl. And he grabbed her waist. Like, he just... He was awkward. And, and like, But my question is, why does he deserve to go to jail for that? Like, uh, you're, you asked me what rational person looks up how to make a friend. A rational person that, that doesn't understand what is acceptable in the social sphere. Which, evidently, this nigga honestly apparently did need the... I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. Whatever. The point is... The, the point is, what rational person thinks that he needs to go to jail to be rehabilitated for, for grabbing a girl on the waist? For, like, three seconds. For touching a girl on her arm. Like he needs to go to prison with all of these 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 gangsters, these cutthroats, these awful psychotic people. That's the environment he needs to be in. He needs to go to jail for that for ten years, up to ten years of his fucking life. He's on the same spectrum of those guys, and that's okay. What kind of fucking Mickey Mouse world do we live in, where rapists can rape girls and they remain silent for fucking years until a, a hashtag on Twitter comes up, but a guy touches a girl on the on the arm. And it gets an immediate court case, and he gets turned over in the jail in a year. What Mickey Mouse fucking world, man? I I, I just can't even. With that being said, man, I assume you guys got some out today's video. And if you did, man, go ahead and click the like button. And if you go and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comments below. As always, you guys have yourselves a great day. See you cool cats soon. Adios.